love internet. I uh, recently found out that there was a place in uh, Kokomo, not too far from home, that uh, had some interesting history to it. So I thought I would uh, head up north and check it out. It's called the Cyberling Mansion, and uh, basically the guy who built the place um, was an industrial uh, mogul. And uh, during the late 1800s, a, uh, one of the largest uh, natural gas belts was discovered in Ohio, which actually bled over into Indiana. And um, so, yeah, because of the cheap energy, uh, the Kokomo became kind of a, an industrial booming town, if you will. And ultimately what happened was that they, um, they didn't cap the wells properly, I guess. And so basically all this natural gas that was supposedly estimated uh, to last some 300 years uh, was all spent in the course of 15 years because it just uh, bled off and they were uh, had these big torch uh, displays and uh, yeah so it was like 90 percent of what what natural gas was in these uh, wells was um, wasted and apparently because of that also the uh, crude oil that was in the ground as well had uh, apparently that affected the pressure that they weren't able to pump out the uh, the oil so yeah we just wasted a shit ton of stuff i guess but basically this guy uh you know became wealthy and i thought one of the things that was interesting about this uh mansion was that uh one of the owners this guy that that built the place i guess only lived there for about three years but uh, had some pretty significant ties and uh, ties to uh, Abraham Lincoln's son, uh, Robert, I believe. And um, one of the daughters, I'm pretty sure, was actually married to Thomas Edison. And um, the, one of the latter owners of the, of the house, uh, I believe, is George Kingston. And he invented the uh, carburetor for the Model T. So this guy and Henry Ford were uh, real good buddies. And... They uh, had uh, would go fishing and hunting and stuff like that together. So a lot of really cool, interesting history that I didn't even really know uh, about it. So I thought I would go head up to this place and uh, check it out. So if you're so inclined, then stick with me. Hey, how you doing? I just ride around and take videos of stuff, and I thought that this looked like a pretty cool place. I wondered if you'd mind if I took a tour and... Well, you can. They do charge you for the entrance fee. Sure. It's ten bucks. No problem. And I don't think there's any limitation on the video, as far as I know. Yeah, okay. So Great. Do you mind, Terry? No, it's fine. Now, you want the history part or just a half? Sure, yeah. Um, this house was built in 1891. It took 18 months to build it. Uh huh. And uh, started the same year that the Biltmore was started. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. It took them six years, took us 18 months. Well, you know, of course, it's a lot bigger. Right. Uh, it's 11,000 square feet. They put a pole barn on the outside of it so they could work all winter long uh -huh. when they build it. And uh, kind of give you a perspective of the timing of it. Custer's last stand? Yep. 1876. Ten years later, in 1986, they discovered natural gas here. Oh, okay. Pokemon, and that's where it started all this wealth. I got gotcha. you. Now this house. So they had the largest natural gas strike in the whole nation at the time. And um, it's supposed to last 300 years, but it only lasted uh, 15 years because they didn't cap any of the wells. Okay. And uh, so uh, Mr. Cyberling built this house for his family. Um, he had uh, eight children and, of course, his wife. So they came over here. And it had four boys and four girls, and two of the girls got married here. Okay. And his oldest girl was named Emma. She got married here in 1893. Wow. And her wedding dress, a uh, copy of it's up in the second floor. Okay. Uh, back in the corner. Her first cousin, uh, Mina, was her bridesmaid, and uh, her mother's maiden name, Mrs. Cybring's maiden name, was Miller, and her brother invented the combine that farmers used. Oh, wow. And uh, his daughter, Mina, was, of course, Emma's first cousin. 
and uh, she was here for the wedding. Now, Mina, seven years before, in 1886, had married the most famous man in the world at the time, the guy who invented the light bulb. Oh, wow. Thomas Edison. Huh. So Mrs. Thomas Edison was here in the, in the house. Yeah. Uh, the Cyberlings um, had their dances, and uh, when you get to the third floor, you notice that there's a stage where the band was, and as the door goes out in the lobby, and during the breaks of the dance, the men would go out there and have their smoking break. Mm -hmm. And then there's a room over here that's got a curtain, and the women, and this is on the third floor we're talking, the women would go in there and undo the corsets because it's pretty uncomfortable. Right, so, right. Uh, so they, they used it for that, but they only lived here three years because Mr. Cyberling knew that, you know, the gas was going to run out, so he left. And we had several other owners until 1914. And in 1914, we had another businessman, uh, George Kingston, bought the house. And he put in electricity the year he bought it, and he was an inventor. He invented a carburetor for Model T Ford. Oh, yeah, I read that out there on the uh, plaque. Yes. Yeah. So him and Henry Ford were good buddies, and Henry yeah. Ford's been in the house here. Yeah, so I'll just kind of walk around and... Yeah, this is a music room in here. Now, that light, you know, when Mr. Kingston put electricity in, um, you, you notice you got three globes up and three globes down. The ones up were the gas lights, and the ones down were electric lights. Oh, okay. And then this is a, a drawing of the gas that we were talking about. They had 10 wells, 46 million cubic feet a day, and the flames shot up you know, 100 feet or so, and had so much light that the farmers could farm at night. Oh, wow. But the 300 years uh, gas went up in flames in 15 years. It was all gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we got three floors, so yeah, help yourself. Okay, great, thank you. You bet. Ain't nothing natural about natural gas. It's a mutant Charlie Manson necromancer. It's about as clean as a horse's ass. It's about as sustainable as cancer. It's lipstick on a pig. It's a bald news anchor's wig. It's a salesman's cheap cologne. It's a starlet silicone. Ain't nothing natural about natural gas. It's a coyote in the hen house to pay for the government's penthouse. A little thank you for endorsing natural gas. There's usually another guy here playing dobro over this. But he couldn't make it. He's got a rock band. I gotta say, Mr. Young, 29-year-old Monroe Cyberling, uh, he looks a little scary. <laughs> Probably just the photography of the day. Going no 
glasses, no expression, no expression. Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. Dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad world. world. Children waiting for the day they. Tell me what's my lesson Look right through me Look right through me And I find it kind of funny I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying Are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take The people run in circles It's a very Have you ever, have you done any of the video in, in the town before? Or is this no. No, I've done some things with like uh, an abandoned water park that I found and um, there's an abandoned space observatory in Bloomington and assuming it's not, you know, private property, no trespassing, then I'll go out and try to catch some video on that. Yeah. yeah, it's usually a matter of if somebody will let you on the property. Look for someone that because you do this or is this all your it's just a hobby oh just should be okay I yeah it was a no no i would starve <laughs> yeah, right about that. yeah no it's mostly just uh you know i've done some videos for the family for christmas and stuff like that but this this is just a personal hobby and just kind of get some video on the motorcycle there's a whole world of people that do this oh i imagine yeah did you get back up here prior to actual Christmas, right after Thanksgiving? This whole place, they have like 50 trees in this house, and everything outside is decorated. Oh, wow. They've got Santa and hot chocolate next door at that judge's house, the elder yeah. house for the kids. Carriage rides, when we get a contract every year, we have carriage rides. I mean, it's really stunning and beautiful once they decorate it. Yeah, and I've never really been through Kokomo, so just downtown Kokomo, all the buildings are yeah, just imagine. really Absolutely. impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They preserved a lot, thank goodness. Yeah. A lot of places have a tendency to tear things down. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of people that will go out and they'll do videos. There's a guy in West Texas that does a lot of ghost town stuff, and he'll do videos on things like that. And there again, there's a lot of historic buildings that are just really cool if people would restore them. But it's a Money. disposable to society, I guess. Well, and I think that's what happened somewhere between, like, the late 60s and maybe the 80s. They just started tearing things down. Mm-hmm. And, and they tore down a lot of things that should have been preserved. Right. And can't get it back. No. Done and gone. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting me uh, stop in. I appreciate it. Do you need any... Uh, this, this is stuff's free. I don't know if you need anything or not. No, I try to travel light. <laughs> I can say that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to... And like I said, uh, we have 
weddings and stuff out here and people taking pictures, proms. Oh, yeah. Help yourself with walking around or whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'll get the camera and get some shots outside. Thanks again. You're welcome. Have a good drive back. All right. Is it supposed to rain? I hope not. Well, since I'm going, I'm just being nice I've gotten. Tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I've gotten rained on before, so. That's right. You're, you're dressed for it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. All right, well, here's the uh, round brick columns that uh, apparently there are only two places in the United States that have these, and uh, I can't confirm or deny that, so I'm going to assume that they know what they're talking about. It's uh, beautifully constructed, I will say that. <clears throat> Now, at one point in my younger adult life, I did some restoration work for a contractor, and we had to work on some places that were similar to this that were actually downtown Indianapolis, and uh, it's hard. It's kind of hard to get, you know, to get the materials and then to try to make something look the way it was originally intended is uh, not as easy as one might think. Well, I hope you enjoyed a little tour of uh, the Cyberling Mansion in Kokomo, Indiana. And uh, I learned a lot personally. I didn't really know that there was that much history uh, connected to a lot of really uh, famous people and famous inventions and uh, so close to home. So it's kind of cool. I'll look for uh, other things similar to that to do videos on, and uh, I find it interesting. So on that note, you know, I hope you liked the video. If you did, then hit the like button, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.